my second idea features, um, it looks into what graffiti actually is. And my first question is, what is your opinion on, on graffiti? Like, most people think it's art, most people think it's vandalism, but I want to know, like, what your three views are like. Um, for me, I think it depends. Like, obviously, I think proper graffiti, like, like, like really good, pro pro like actual art, mm -hmm. it's like I, I really like. I think it, I don't think I see it vandalism or anything. Like that. I think it's just it's art. It's a good way of like expressing, like expressing yourself. Like if you're an artist and stuff. But if it's something like just like, going around writing like a tag on a yeah, like a, like a bin or something shit like that, then it's like you know that's vandalism. It's not really anything like. It's not really art or anything, it's just, no, it's just, just, yeah, it's just basically just scribbling like a war or just like mm. felt it pen, do you know what I mean? It's not really <laughs> Yeah. It's not really artistic or anything. So it sort of depends on what it is, pretty much. Are you actually looking into art side or into vandalism instead? Well I wanna see what people actually think, what it is and then whatever that is, I actually probably focus on the good side or the bad yeah. side. I think most people are actually going to say it's to do with, it's to do with art. Yeah, so I, think I, I see it as an art nowadays. Yeah. I used to think that as a vandalism as well, but now I just think that comes in under art. I think yeah, graffiti is like art, and then there's vandalism, so it's like two different. I think it's two different things. I don't Makes think. No yeah. And it's kind of I kind of see what you're saying because even on BBC News, when I was actually doing some research, yeah. they're actually looking into if they actually should legalise graffiti because most people see it as an art and I actually went up to statistics and it said more of, there was basically more based on art than there was on vandalism and that's a really big issue out there. So like, anybody else? I think the best way is to probably just research, see what people actually think of it and then mm -hmm. what the majority of it is, like, like based stuff on like, like what you think is good or what you think is bad then yeah. do it on that, you know what I mean? That's probably the best way to do it. Anybody else? <clears throat> okay, my second question is, would you prefer to have a documentary set in a studio or a place that actually features graffiti? Place graffiti. Yeah. 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 yeah, definitely. Because um, it's more, like, not, not really a serious, but obviously you get like, people to see what you're actually talking about, like what sort of graffiti there is. I mean, if you're doing like a London where like, like basic stuff is the one, yeah. people actually see like what they what what graffiti what you're actually talking like about. Yeah, why people see it as art and they can sort of make their own mind up about it. Yeah, I do see that. Anybody else? Yeah, I think you have to actually go to um, the place itself because that's that's what we're, that's what you're talking about. So you need to see on sound and type in the CD. Mm, like the audience need to actually see what I'm talking about because yeah. it's it visualized as well. Because yeah. yeah. isn't there a place where like comes from something like it's a place like London where you, like, you're actually allowed to yeah, do graffiti because I think that'd be a good place to just maybe start it like so if you actually basically yeah. focusing on the good things then go to a yeah. place where it's legal yeah and then like you can have people in the background doing it you can like sort of walk past them <laughs> like you know it's a bit chased obviously but I think yeah, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be effective but it'd be effective yeah. in the same way yeah the president could actually have a go in there doing it themselves <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> like a bit more um, yeah, Boris Johnson yeah, what do you think yeah. <laughs> I think it's quite good anyway um, anybody else <laughs> yeah, I think a way of looking at something that like informal and stuff. If that's if you're looking at the good side of it, obviously. Yeah, this is kind of like more to, to do with the style, this question. And I think we've got some good answers, so I'm happy with that. Anybody else? Okay, my third question is, why do you think people graffiti? And is it like a national problem? Like, is it just in London or other countries? Or where do you basically see graffiti? Like, do you see it in the area or something like that? I think people do it. Um, like if we're doing like proper graffiti, I think it's a way like say, of expressing themselves and mm -hmm. showing their talent as an artist and whatnot. Um, but in terms of just graffiti and vandalism, graffiti like tagging and stuff like that, um, it's more like yeah, it's like train stations and sort of mm -hmm. buses and bus like uh, public stops. transport. Something like that. Yeah. Local. Yeah, like local, bro. It's not like not a big. Like in a posh area. Yeah, not like a big city like London <laughs> or anything like that. But like, obviously, like, if you have places like Chablis, Dagenham, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, the worst places. Holes like that. Yeah. I don't get mugged when I'm going to yeah. film this. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else? What was he saying about country? Um, do you basically see in other countries like if you were to go to somewhere like Jamaica and see like lots of people like yardies and 
theme parks, free theme in Newark. Is it, it basically in America? Well? Yeah, yeah, yeah America. like New York. And yeah, when for seeing graffiti, you know, like Bronx. Yeah, that's actually quite a good point. It's actually, I thought it would be everywhere, but I wanted to see what your views were about it, and you basically agreed with me. And I think another thing is, how long have we got? Yeah, three minutes. Right, I can carry on. Another thing is, I think the reason why people kind of graffiti is because if they like, if they were to move into an area because they've already seen it, they kind of grow up with that kind of atmosphere and they kind of adapt it and they think, ah, oh, well, if they're doing it, then I've got to do it too. Kind of like peer pressure. And it kind of actually tells you what the area is like. It's so like if it's rough or yeah. it kind of what sets the moods. Yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, depending on what like kind of graffiti. Yeah. Cause like if you see it's art, people might, be, people might be like really artistic, you might say it's quite a nice area to live in. But then if you see things like tags, like Microsoft and bins and public transport, you'll be thinking it's quite rough. Bad impression. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, very bad impression. Yeah. Um, my fourth, ad, my fourth question is, what has been done in the UK to like stop graffiti, and is there enough? Is is this speak? Is this enough? Um, well, like I said, I've said there's that thing where you can make you can make a go and do graffiti and stuff, but yeah. I mean, in terms of tagging and, and stuff like that, I'm not really sure what's being done to prevent it. Um, not a lot happens. Not a lot I've heard, heard of. Like, I don't think mm-hmm. there's literally stuff people can do with it. Yeah, because so, I mean, the only way I'd see it is obviously. Maybe if you're at like train stations, maybe tighten security a little bit, or or something like that, or maybe or maybe like I mean the way I can see them doing it is like when sort of saying the dangers of doing it. Obviously, there's some two kids down Chapel Hill station that was like end up getting it by a train station, they're running from the police with tagging a wall. I swear it was an advert or something like that. No, yeah, 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 from down Chapel Hill station. How long was this? A couple of years ago. I kind of actually spot my question now because what I was meant to ask was who's responsible? <laughs> who do you think responsible to stop graffiti? But then you kind of said, well, it's not really stoppable. Yeah, I, I can't really see it being one thing. I mean, unless you obviously put a, make an actual criminal offence, I'm not sure if it is or not. It is, isn't it? Is it? Um, yeah. 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 So you wouldn't say anything like Damage the government? Damage or not people's property, things. You wouldn't say like the government or the council are trying to stop or anything Maybe like that? They, they might, but no, they didn't enough. enough. Maybe just people are selling it. I don't know, they can't really stop people from buying it because they can use it for art. Okay. That's well, yeah. Yeah. I guess they how long have you got? Mm-hmm. I guess they could, um, like, I've just thought of this. They could actually be doing something by actually reporting the people who are actually doing it rather than just. Like, basically, have the place under close surveillance. Yeah. Because, like, things like CCTV, cam- CCTV cameras not enough because, like, You'll see one person standing in one place and then like two seconds afterwards they're all in Stratford or something like that. But they're not actually precise. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the way still which have some sort of punishment, it's like it's, it's also a deterrent, like they it's your lack of prison. <laughs> yeah, probably not prison, but like some like community like community service or something, it's like yeah. uh, clean like clean other people's coffee and stuff like that and it's sort of done. <laughs> like, like if obviously they're gonna have to do even more and I think it's it's worth it. Worth it. It's right worth it. Yeah. So. Actually that's a good Anybody else? We've got 10 seconds more. Thank you guys. Interesting stuff.